If I told you that this video was sponsored by JotForm, would you believe me? Well, you're going to have to because today's video is in fact sponsored by JotForm. They have released a new feature called Tables and they've asked me to review it. So let's just jump right into it. Hello, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, I'm Josh Rowley and on this channel, I make product reviews, tutorials, and vlog every once in a while. Not often, but sometimes. So when JotForm told me about their new product, I went to take a look at it and oh boy, there's there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on and a lot of stuff that I just do not understand. <laughs> However, I do see this as being a super useful and helpful tool for the right person. So I've broken this down into like roughly four different categories, reasons that this might be a helpful tool for you. Reason number one on my list, and this is in no particular order, is that if you love Excel, chances are you're going to really love JotForm tables. Now, if you're someone who uses formulas a lot to make life easier for yourself to auto-populate other cells or to automatically do mathematical calculations in your Excel spreadsheet, you're gonna be able to do those in JotForm tables. Now, I will note that I do not know that for sure, but given that you can import your existing data from .xlsx files as well as .csv files, I'm sure they transfer over. If that's not the case, then someone can comment below saying this is not the case and JotForm is still working on it, and I'm sorry for having said that, but it's I feel like that's a safe assumption. <laughs> Now, if you have no data to populate or to import into JotForm tables, you can start a new blank table from scratch. Now, if you also want to make your life a little bit easier when starting from a new blank table, they do provide some starting templates, again, to make your life easier. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that sentence, but that's what they're there for. <laughs> Reason number two that I think this is a great tool is that you can collaborate with ease just like you can with literally any other tool that you can think of out there, just like Google Docs and just like Microsoft Excel, other Microsoft products. Okay, now admittedly, I did have to actually look up to make sure that you can co-author a document in Microsoft because last I knew you couldn't or like you could share, but then like, it's like you're trading off editing and it's not quite the same or it wasn't as smooth. I don't know. I fact checked myself before this, so you can now, apparently. So you can do that in JotForm tables. Reason number three is that JotForm tables makes a couple things a heck of a lot easier. You can sort and filter through your data and generate a chart that you can take a quick look at to be able to compare the rest of your data in your table without having to do all these special calculations and have the program generate a, f a form that ultimately will take up space in your table. You can just generate a little chart that you can look at and have it go away and it takes up no space. Speaking of filtering, you can filter the information in such a way that makes sense to you. So you can reorganize all the information in your table all within a couple clicks. The other thing I noticed, and this was just from watching their like little webinar video that they did, is that you can get slides of information made from your data on your table, made within just a couple clicks. You don't need to open up PowerPoint and sort through all, all the data and make all these charts yourself. You can do that in JotForm in a couple clicks. So you're saving yourself some time by using JotForm tables. Again, this is coming from someone who doesn't really use Excel very much, but I thought that was interesting. <laughs> and reason number four, and again, this is in no particular order, if you're working on your table, and you realize that you have no form and you need one, well, that's no problem because you can generate a new form from your table. Then you can go over to the JotForm forms side and make it look all nice afterwards. And again, that just takes a couple clicks to do. It's not a whole hassle and a half process to do separately. So I've probably mentioned it earlier in this video that I'm not someone who uses Excel very often and that brings me to point number five. It's not really a point, it's just my concluding thoughts on the new JotForm tables, and that's just simply, who is this for? For me, personally, I don't think it's something I would use. Now, the only way I foresee using it is when people fill out my contact form, and it's just a super clean and nice way to be able to view submissions versus 
what it was before which was just almost looked like an email inbox and honestly that was kind of annoying so I can see the name and the contact information and what all they've replied to for each question in the form of a table and that's pretty solid but that's the only way I foresee using tables now that's not to say that I think this is a completely useless tool that you should disregard not at all what I'm saying all I'm saying is that it's not for me however if you are someone who manages projects, manages inventory, manages registrations, manages tasks, manages HR and payroll sheets, does recruitment forms, or does marketing data. Sorry, I'm looking off to the side for this long list of good solid use cases. Or you're someone who does task sheets, contact lists, attendance sheets, registration sheets, other kinds of checklists, CRM sheets, medical log sheets, said recruitment forms already this could be a useful tool for you. So it's not something I foresee being super useful for me because like I said, I'm not someone who uses Excel for a lot of things, but if you're someone who fits in the kinds of use cases that I just listed and that are listed on their website, this is a super nice tool. So long story short, I think that this is a very useful tool. It's definitely more useful to some people than others, but it's definitely something you should check out. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up and you can see my previous video and subscribe to the channel in the end card and I will see you guys next time. Sorry for not posting a video in a while. Life's been hectic. And thank you to Jotform for being very patient with me for making this video. And lastly, thank you once again to Jotform for sponsoring this video. All right, I'm gonna go. My mind's a mess. There's a lot going on in life. And yeah, so, Go check out Jotform Tables. Alright? Bye.